Hey guys, welcome to the Traction booth here, NAM 2017, day two. Uh, I'm gonna give you a quick tour around the latest generation of our workstation. Um, this year, a big change, we're changing the name of the workstation to Waveform. Uh, to uh, give you a bit of background on the decision, essentially, obviously, everyone knows it's a Traction. Uh, the workstation has been called Traction for many years, but now our company name is Traction. So um, the last couple of years, we transitioned to calling the app T5, T6, T7. Uh, and this year we, we wanted to come up with something a little more compelling and inspirational for the name of the app. So Waveform is the new name, uh, but it is essentially what would be in the classic term T8. Um, some uh, very cool new stuff in it, just close out Wave Razor here. Um, one of the big new features is we now have a fully modular integrated uh, mixer. Uh, you still have the classic mixer view for uh, those people who are familiar with the, the, uh, the classic traction workflow. Uh, but we have a button up in the corner here now where you can click that and open up your in-edit uh, mixer view. Um, you'll notice we have little buttons on the side here that allow you to quickly customize what you're seeing, layout of the mixer so the user can really define exactly how they want to see it. All the windows are resizable, so um, again, you know, depending on your screen real estate, you can manage exactly how you want to see everything. So um, you can also open the same edit into a dedicated mixer view. So uh, if, you're, if you have a couple of screens that you want to use, you can, you can open an edit, drag that screen out to a second screen so you can have your mixer on one screen or your editing on the other. Um, this is the dedicated mixer screen. Again, you have all the buttons at the side here that allow you to customize how you're seeing it. Um, again, fully modular, fully resizable, um, just a, a very modern, elegant uh, mix view. Um, in terms of functionality uh, in the app, one of the big new feature sort of uh, concepts for this year is musicality tools, creativity and musicality tools. So uh, MIDI's had a massive overhaul. Um, we now have a dedicated uh, uh, MIDI editor. Um, and down here in the, in the MIDI clip, you can launch, show hide the MIDI editor. Um, you can still edit at the clip level, which is the classic way of editing in Traction, but uh, if you want to go in and, and launch the dedicated editor, it gives you more functionality. Um, you can do cool things like ghost waveforms and stuff behind the MIDI, so you can easily and rapidly sort of edit MIDI. So it, it's, uh, it's a, again, a very sort of elegant, modern take on, uh, on manipulating MIDI. And we also have uh, our new pattern generator, which allows you to very quickly choose between arpeggios, chords, bass lines, and melodies. Uh, and behind the scenes, there's a lot of science going on in this in that um, we, we have mined the internet for a bunch of data on essentially you know, popular chord progressions. And we use all of that data to be able to essentially steer the user into what are classic, you know, popular chord progression. So again, it's, we're really trying to sort of develop tools that allow people to very quickly and easily generate, you know, music, even if they aren't classically trained and, you know, ha don't have a huge amount of experience. So um, even like me, who've been, you know, noodling with music for many years, it's a super fun tool to very quickly create ideas and, you know, get it running. And of course, as you select different clips in all of these, uh, it remembers previous choices, so you know, if I add a bass line to my chord progression, it's all in the right key, it's all in the right structure. So again, really quick, really easy. Um, along with the musicality tools, um, we wanted to ship wa uh, Waveform with, uh, with an instrument that provides a lot of variable uh, you know, sounds, instrument sounds. So, um, so Wolfram has been working on a, a brand new sampler, uh, which was shipped with the product. Uh, comes with about five gigabytes of uh, sound library uh, with the goal of essentially being a wide diverse range of instruments you know everything from your drums to keyboards strings you know essentially just to give a really wide wide range uh, version version one of the, the sampler is is going to be uh, what we're calling our sort of a simple view which is focused on just the instruments and then down the road we have uh, we have sort of an advanced sampling sort of roadmap that takes us into some real sci-fi uh, sampling mayhem which will be coming out afterwards, which we're looking forward to as well. So uh, that's coming out, it's called Collective. Um, of course, at the end of last year, we launched our, our premium plugin collection as well, 16 premium plugins, EQs, dynamics, all that good stuff. Um, and obviously we're showing Wave Razor here, as uh, I think Taiho's already taking you through. Um, we have the Raspberry Pis over here, which are also running, running Waveform. Um, this pie on the left here is, is running one of our, our demo sessions on Wave for about 30 tracks of audio quite capably on the Raspberry Pi. The one next to it, the screen's gone to sleep, is running a little custom version of Biotech we've been playing with that uh, 
it's a touch screen version uh, running with the Pi over there, which allows you to essentially you know, turn the Pi into a synthesizer. Um, so all very cool. Price point and available or waveform? Uh, waveform is going to be $99. Um, and then we'll do the usual bundles with all of the rest of the content. Um, so it's gone up slightly in price. Um, T7 was 60 bucks, but um, because we're adding all the sampler and the cost of uh, purchasing this entire big sound library that we're getting for the sampler, bumping the price up to 99 bucks. And upgrade for existing users? Absolutely, yeah. Of course, yeah. yeah. Upgrade path from all previous ver version 5, 6, and 7 all have upgrade path. Um, and uh, all the details will be announced. All the bundle pricing, we're still sort of nailing down exactly what that's going to be, but the base price is going to be 99 bucks. And, okay, so, yeah. thank you. Cool, pleasure.